think Northwest Ohio has unique characteristics which don't seem to have really been exploited or built on in the past hundred years or so. And <clears throat> the University of Toledo is beginning to address some of those uh, possibilities, especially through the Intermodal Transportation Institute and through international programming. But a crisis has sort of visited uh, upon us in terms of the economic downturn, which <clears throat> has practically decimated the automotive industry and gutted its supply chain. That supply chain is essential not only for the economic well-being of this region, including Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan, it is absolutely essential for job creation. It is essential even for national security. And the university has a role to play, and we are beginning to play that role through the creation of the North American Vehicular Supply Chain Institute, uh, which was fast-tracked by the President Lloyd Jacobs through the Board of Trustees and became reality in September of last year. <clears throat> the mission of the Institute is to study the supply chain associated especially with the automotive industry but not exclusively the automotive industry and come up with not only fact-finding types of documents but also with suggestions for reviving, revitalizing the industry, uh, preserving jobs and creating new jobs and strengthening the supply chain through the diversification of the supply chain from being purely automotive into areas such as medical instrumentation, defense contracting, alternative energy, and other areas. So that's the initiative that we envision is going to not only strengthen the economy of the region, but also become a collaborative vehicle for the university to participate in the economy of the region. The whole issue of, of health care is becoming more important, not only because the population is aging, but because it is now the largest industry in the U.S., consuming about 17 percent of the gross domestic product. We are beginning to look at how the university and the UT Medical Center will improve its operations through things like electronic medical records, which is currently being implemented and being rolled out to the clinics that are on the UT campus, but how that will expand then into a regional information exchange for healthcare data so that all the entities in Northwest Ohio will be able to share information which will reduce costs, uh, increase the speed of, of treatment and and make it easier for patients to to access their data and carry it from physician to physician. As a result, better decisions will be made, costs will be reduced. At the same time, it's necessary to look at at other uh, aspects of of hospitals and healthcare, including utilization of facilities and how you streamline and improve the processes while either increasing or at least not decreasing the quality of care. We do have uh, an abiding interest in not only uh, developing guidelines but also, as Dr. Wanderms put it, investigate and do research to identify uh, what the issues are and how they can be solved mm -hmm. in this particular area. And we see, the, see this as an opportunity both for us here in the College of Business uh, uh, as also for the region to become uh, branded in this particular area mm -hmm. as, as the uh, one-stop shop of choice, mm -hmm. uh, especially in areas such as the healthcare supply chain, such as the automotive supply chain, or the industrial supply chains, and information security. Mm -hmm.